Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with NCAA 13, and we have got the Orange Bowl coming your way in this one. Remember, I'm going to be playing all of the BCS Bowl games. It's going to be a ton of fun. So when we reach the Orange Bowl here, we're going to be having Florida State and Northern Illinois square off against each other here in this one. I got to give a lot of props here to Northern Illinois to making it to the Orange Bowl, especially with that controversy and everything like that about an Orange Bowl uh, official saying that, that they didn't even want Northern Illinois at the Orange Bowl. Kind of is cool, though, that you guys ended up making it here. So when I did choose between the two teams, I did decide to go with Florida State in this one because they are the ones who I had picked to be able to win, and they ended up winning 31-10. to 10. So because of everything that's going on, I'm doing the commentary after the game has taken place. So my bad. But as a Husker fan, I have a lot of respect for Florida just from the 90s when we went ahead and played them in national championships and stuff like that. So a lot of respect right here. Look at that, bobbing and weaving and getting to the 25-yard line. That is how it is done. I tell you what, after playing the conference games like Heisman, not a problem for me anymore. It's kind of cool, though, with Teddy Crocker with that mixed in, too, like my improved running ability. I seeing uh, a lot more type of runs like that where I'm just like bobbing and weaving getting around everybody and picking up more yards than I would have if I you know, had normally kept going like I usually do but anyway things are looking great for us here on our opening drive Thompson not able to get into the end zone right here but that is okay my Xbox is frozen not your screen and there we go all right so third and goal now you can see I'm going to be trying to find an opening here and I do so I get the touchdown early on in the game here so we've got that seven and nothing lead over Northern Illinois now. So Florida State getting it done. That was quite a great drive as well. We did take up some time, but very, very efficient. So I'm looking forward to things here. That one completed to Moore to get the first down right now. So I got to be taking a look out for Lynch and some of the passes here as he tries to roll out, but I am able to get the sack. He loses nine yards. So this is going to put him in a passing situation here for the next couple plays. And then I'll be able to utilize the play the pass feature to go ahead and give that defensive bonus to my secondary didn't work right there for me here they pick up six yards because they ran the ball now with the play action pass you do not fool me good effort right there by the defensive back but that is going to be fourth down they have to punt and thompson running the ball getting the first down so these draw plays have been working a lot better here with florida state than i think they have with any other team still going to mix it up and go with the pass here Looks like it's going to be a false start call. It is. So I'm going back five yards. It's going to be first and 15 now. Four wide receivers in. Looking for somebody to be open here. And I do find Pryor who allows me to get the first down. So that's okay that I was I got the false start. I'm still all right here. Second and four now for me after that six-yard pickup. Got some time. Able to find Pryor again. Don't get past the 20-yard line, but I'm at, like, the 21 right now, so I'm okay. Able to get it to green now. Pick up eight yards, third and two. I'm going to try and run the ball right here. Thompson, even though somebody was able to get close to him, still fights and gets across that first down marker. So there we go to green for another touchdown. Again, my Xbox, not your screen, is frozen. It's been happening a lot more. I think my Xbox is on the way out. It's a good thing my wife is awesome and bought me that PS3 because I can always fall back on that if I need to. This should be the last play of the first quarter here. Majors ends up losing one yard on that one. So the passing game isn't even working that well. I do see that they're going to be going with that screen play. So I kind of pull away from my uh, attack here on the quarterback. Able to get the tackle. So that worked out very well. Majors picking up three yards. That's going to set up fourth and five. Third and nine now for me here after a couple bad plays. Green catches that one. He had to go back to reach and find that ball, but it's all right. We got the first down out of it. There's Shaw. This is going to be a foot race that I am going to win. Touchdown, 21 to nothing. It almost sounded like a little bit of an echo in there because the PA guy said touchdown exactly when I did too. You guys probably won't notice it because I'll turn down the volume, of course, for this, but. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm saying that right now, to be honest. I just thought it was kind of crazy. I'm like, who else is talking besides me? 
Anyway, so 21 to nothing. Things are going well. Ashford. Oh my gosh. He had not been slowed down. There's nothing but green in front of him here and would have seen a touchdown. So Brown getting things going for NIU now. This has been a pretty good drive. Look at this. They're in the 30-yard line. So they should at least get a field goal, but Lynch trying to roll out of the pocket. Get the sack. Lose some yards. Third and 16. Obvious passing. I don't know what you're waiting for. What was that? That was a terrible, terrible play. If he had gone ahead with the screen and thrown it over to his halfback, it would have been golden. This is going to be a long field goal for NIU. It is up, and they miss it. Not by much here, too. Take a look at the replay. They are going into the wind, and the wind is like 10 miles an hour right now. So, ah, just by a matter of inches, they missed that one. That's all right. I go ahead. I throw that ball up. It's intercepted. I'm not happy about it. But I still got the 21 to nothing lead here. So this is going to give NIU some pretty good field position to be able to get some things going. If they have the same type of success that they had on their last drive, they're going to get close enough, I think, to be able to make an easy field goal. I got to stop with these turnovers. I've had more turnovers in this game than I've had in NCAA in a while already. But there is the sack. It's going to make him even tougher to get into that field goal range or to get into the end zone here. And with uh, the amount of time that's left, with the distance they have to go, we're going to be playing the pass. All right, Johnson running out of bounds after making the catch. That does stop the clock. But NIU is going with a hurry-up offense throughout this entire game, which is absolutely annoying from the standpoint of trying to play the game. Another interception. Oh, Reed, are you going to be able to take that back? Oh, my gosh, he may be able to take that back. Pick six. Heck, yeah. I had to dive into the end zone because I was pretty excited about that one here. But, anyway, NIU still getting things going. Lynch, there we go. That's how you throw a pass to your hat back when you're going with the screenplay. But third and 14 now. Lynch again passing. And I get the sack. You cannot fool me. They punt it. I get a pretty good return here to the 45 and Thompson still getting it done on the ground. It's going to make it second and one flag on the play. That's okay. Thompson gets more than five yards. So I'm going to go ahead and just decline this one. There's really no point in it. It actually hurt me more to accept that penalty than to just let it go. So there you can see it's declined 28, nothing here. Just about one minute left in the first half. And there we go to Thompson. Down the middle, nobody in front of him. It was open by about three or four yards, maybe even five. That's going to make it 35 to nothing here. Remember, I told you this was going to be a little bit of a mismatch here too. I kind of regret choosing Florida State a little bit because I think it would have been pretty interesting to see if I could have won as NIU. Because It's like I'm playing as an A-plus team going against a C-plus team. Come on. That's all right. There's really not too much I can do about it now. Less than a minute here. Another INT. Rhodes gets to the 20-yard line. Yeah, everybody is booing right now. They are not happy. I'll be honest. If this was my team, I would be pretty furious. And that's probably me putting it very, very nicely. So, anyway, just going to run the ball. But Thompson... It's going to get the first down, or pretty close to the first down here. Second and inches. There we go, getting the first down. So with this time left, though, I'm going to go for the touchdown. It's probably a horrible thing. Oh, my gosh, Evans. Wow, nobody in front of him. QB's got some wheels. He's going to be able to stop him. He's actually in front of him. Drives him out of bounds. I did not play that one too well. There is two seconds left. They are in good field position, and they're going to be going with a quick field goal. It is up. That one is good. So 35-3 to three now as we head into the half. I'm not changing anything again in this game. I'm going to keep going with it. I was saying, like, with... Uh, with Wisconsin, I'm like, you know, with this type of lead, there's nothing that I would change. When you're up by 32 points going into the half, you want to change nothing. 
keep going with everything. That's a smart call. I'm not anticipating any type of ridiculous comeback from NIU or anything, but it's kind of important I keep this momentum going because I'm playing a lot of the games today. So just in like one sitting and stuff. But anyway, like I was saying earlier, I see a lot of hurry up offense out of NIU, which is annoying because um, I really can't change my defense too much when they do that. That kind of works to their advantage. But also from an editing standpoint, man, that just means there's a lot more plays I have to go through. And the clock does not wind down. So I wish there was something I could do to stop it, but I can't. Anyway, second and 14 here. I realized I didn't get a chance to say that earlier and finish that. So another interception. Honestly, he's got to be ridiculously demoralized with all of these interceptions that he is throwing. Feels like Heisman isn't even hard anymore. But, oh well. Second and nine. I just get a one yard pickup on that run here. Go with the play action pass. Look at that, get it to Shaw. I had to cut in because I thought I was gonna go out of bounds here pretty quick. That uh, made it so I didn't get too many yards here, but, ah, oh, I could have thrown X. But I pick up some yards on the ground here, too, which is okay. I really haven't been running with a uh, quarterback in a while. I used to do that a lot more. But for some reason, like I said, I haven't been doing it as much. I think it's because uh, I was noticing injuries and stuff like that and some of the games I was playing. But Thompson fighting to get the first down. He does that and gets some more in the process. First and goal. Not able to get into the end zone. But I'm at the three-yard line here. So third and goal. They've really stopped me right now. So I'm going to try another run. Thompson's not going to get it done. So on fourth and goal, I'm going to go ahead and kick this field goal. It is up. It is a lot closer to that right post than I would have liked. But it is in, so I'm okay with it. Just a little 19-yard field goal. Nothing to get too excited about. Two minutes, 45 seconds left in the third quarter here. And again, NIU is going with the pass. You guys have noticed a particular pattern in this game where NIU has been passing the ball a ton. So I'm playing the pass on every single play. Huge catch. That was awesome. I got to go ahead and show that to you guys again. This has been uh, actually the second one I've had to show of the BCS game. Just like some great play taking place. So two minutes, 30 seconds now. Lynch again. Getting sacked, going out of field goal range. Third and 17 at the 46, 47 yard line. Another INT. Smith not able to take this back for too much, but possession is still mine. And it looks like he's actually hurt. So we're gonna have to sub him out. I think he is gonna be out for the rest of the game. But I think he's like an 80 or something and his replacement is 78. So I'm not replacing too much. Um, you know, by going, or uh, there's not too big of a difference by me bringing in the backup uh, here. But anyway, third and eight. Kind of lost track of my notes here. Third and eight, though, that one not going to be completed. Kind of rough, too, because I've been pretty accurate with my passes as of late. And, of course, the one that ends up being pretty weak and not where it's supposed to be, it's on third down. But that's okay. Rhodes with that INT. This is getting redonkulous. This is insane. But anyway, there we go. Four yard pickup, second and six. Gonna be looking to get it to my half back here. So O'Leary makes the catch. If I say half back, I meant tight end. All right, second and goal now. And I'm gonna be sacked again. O line not playing the best. That sets me up for success here as Thompson makes that catch into the end zone to make it 45-3. to three. Six minutes, eight seconds left in the game. Come on, it's not like 41 points. I probably could just go ahead and skip to the end of the game and be like, hey, that was awesome. But who knows, maybe something cool is going to happen. Maybe NIU gets a touchdown or something, but kind of hoping that's the case here. At least it's not going to be a shutout like it was in the last game. All right, Lynch in the pocket. Man, I'm tempted almost not to show this. And it's really tough, too, because it's like 
you know, I can show proof of me playing on Heisman on this stuff. But still, this is just, this is insane. Sometimes, whenever you play a game and it's a blowout, it can be a ton of fun. You know, because you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot play any better. But sometimes, and this is one of those cases here, where it's just like, man, kind of wish we'd be seeing more of a fight here. But that one does get intercepted. I've not been passing the best here, so that has been a struggle of mine in this. But um, like, I was, like I was saying here, I mean, this actually hasn't been that much uh, fun here because NIU has been passing the ball the entire game. I know how to defend against that. It's not like I'm going to intentionally go ahead and let them uh, you know, pick up yards or anything like that or get touchdowns because I think that's cheap as well. But... Anyway, second and two. Thompson running to the right. What a great pickup right there. I'm not going to be able to get the big end goal of a touchdown, but that's okay. That was like a 40-something yard pickup right there. So that's going to go ahead and bring him over the 100-yard mark for sure in this game. Second and three. Freeman fighting so hard to get that first down, and it definitely does pay off. We're just a little over two minutes, 30 seconds. Thompson, we're just letting the clock run down. And this will likely be the last play of the game. And it is. So the Orange Bowl goes to Florida State 45-3. to Not like it was in real life here, I guess, when you look at the scores. But I guess I was right in picking Florida State in this one. But I hope you guys did enjoy this. If you're a Florida State fan, you guys will absolutely love this video because of how one-sided it was. But um, anyway, thank you again for watching. Regardless of whether you liked it or not, I still appreciate you guys dropping by. Um, you guys can subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. Just check that description below, and you will be able to find all that info. But thanks again, you guys. You know I think you're phenomenal people. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.